Um, Hercules is the son of a mortal, Alcmena, and Jupiter, or Zeus in the Greek tradition. And um, how this comes about is that Alcmena is married to another mortal named Amphitruo, and she is pregnant with his child when uh, he leaves to go to battle. And then Jupiter, as he sometimes does, shows up uh, in disguise, and uh, disguised as Amphitruo, as her husband, and um, she also becomes pregnant by Jupiter, and uh, so she's, go she's giving birth to twins, one of whom is Jupiter's son, Hercules. Okay, so the play kind of asks the question, what would happen if Jupiter was still hanging around in Thebes when the real Amphitro came back? So it's a twins comedy, which is one of the inspirations for Shakespeare's Comedy of Errors. Um, so one of the problems, the difficulties that we faced is the climax of the play, the showdown between the real Amphitro and the fake Amphitro, was missing, and so we had to do a lot of work to fill in the gaps there. Um, also, as we were, well, one of the things that you find out when you take a play uh, from reading it in classroom to putting it up on stage is that when you're performing something, sometimes uh, some of the uh, negative aspects and biases that are in, in the text really come to the fore in performance. And we, we were somewhat troubled by some of the very misogynistic aspects of this play. And so we thought, well, this is a great opportunity. We're missing an entire act of the play. We're going to fill it with whatever we want. So we can uh, kind of redress this situation by, uh, by, by filling it with some uh, creative things. So um, I'll invite you to pay attention and you know, try to figure out what things we added and what things were there in the original. And it could be fun. Um, but yeah, in all of this, the students put in an incredible amount of work. Um, as director, I decided that uh, given our truncated time frame, we would do this as a staged reading, which means our actors will have scripts with them on stage today. However, the, again, going back to how much work they've put in, I would say we're 90 to 95 percent off book. Even though they knew they'd have the scripts with them, they really wanted to do a good performance, so they've got pretty much the whole thing memorized. Um, Let's see, is there anything I'm forgetting? Ah, yes. Uh, for those of you who are seeing a Roman comedy for the first time, you might find it uh, somewhat uh, surprising com that uh, there's no fourth wall in, in uh, Roman comedy, which means the actors sometimes will come out here and talk directly to you. Sometimes they'll come uh, running about in the midst of the audience. Some of them are sitting out there with you right now. So don't be surprised by the lack of the fourth wall and uh, be forewarned, right? Usually in the theater, the audience is safe. Well, you guys aren't safe, you know, especially here. This is, this is the splash zone, the proverbial splash zone. So, uh, so, so be advised. Um, let's see, I think, I think I've got everything, um, everything uh, that we need to say before we start here. I've got to go become Jupiter now. If I've left anything out, uh, Mercury will fill you in. So, we'll uh, see you guys in a minute. Thank you. Hello and welcome, my pretty people. Packed in pews like perfect play-going participants, poised to perceive our prodigious production, post-haste. <laughs> Would you like to have a good evening tonight? <laughs> I can help with that. But to do so, I will require your help. I am Mercury, a god, and son of Jupiter, the king of the gods, and of all heaven, at least in this realm. I know your thoughts. What favor could we possibly offer you? What favor might mighty Mercury need? <laughs> A few, in fact. For the benefit of all our favorite friends here with us this fine, festive even fall. The favors I want to ask are simple and perfectly proper. I'm here as a proper person to put a proper proposal to proper people. After all, it's not proper to ask for improper things from proper people. It's preposterous to petition for improper things from improper people. They're a criminal bunch of don't know, right? Don't hold by it. Woo! <laughs> First, for Jove's sake, silence your cell phones. Thank you. Number two, refrain, if you would, from all overly crunchy snacks and overly soggy jokes. <laughs> And lastly, we appreciate your enthusiasm. 
And should you choose to hurl any rotting vegetation, we would simply ask that you be sure to aim carefully. And Ansel, he's the top Now, allow me to explain the plot of this travesty. Uh, tragedy. Now, what's that reaction for? <laughs> I know. It's because I said this play would be a tragedy. Well, that's all right. I'm a god. I'll just have everything changed. If you like, I'll turn it from a tragedy to a comedy without altering a line. What do you say? Is that what you'd like? Absolutely, <laughs> me. I'm a god. I know what you want. I understand your feelings in the matter perfectly. I'll make it into a comedy with some tragedy mixed in. I'll make it a tragic comedy. <laughs> now then, back to business. As I said, I will now explain the plot. No, it's too much. I'll sum up. <laughs> this is the city of Thebes. That is Amphitro's house. He's married to Achmena and currently serving as commander-in-chief of the army, since Thebes is at war. When he went off to the battle, his wife was pregnant. Now, I'm sure you're all aware of the way my father, Jupiter, king of lightning bolts and skirt chasing, tends to carry on. Well, when Amphitro left, Jupiter borrowed Amphitro's looks, took his place, and began carrying on with Achmeta behind her husband's back, and also made her pregnant. Now, just to be clear, she's pregnant by both of them, Jupiter and Amphitro. And she's completely unaware, since my father wears such a perfect disguise, fooling everyone. Now, you may notice I'm also in this slave's get-up. It's because I have changed myself to look like the servant Sosia, who was also at the front with Amphitro. Now, father's inside telling Achmena all about what happened to Amphitro on the front lines. How he routed the enemy troops, and how he's given a pile of presents as a reward. To be more convincing, we've absconded with all of the spoils that they won out there, because, you know, we can. <laughs> now for the conflict. Today the real Amphitro gets home along with the servant whose looks I'm using. Now, be careful, we look exactly alike. I mean, exactly alike. It's uncanny, supernaturally. You may notice these flyers I'm wearing. That's for you, so you can tell the difference between us. As for my father and Amphitro, you're on your own, because, wow, I can't even tell sometimes. <laughs> In fact, there's Amphitro's servant now, carrying a lantern. He's just arriving from the docks. As soon as he gets to the house, I'll send him packing. But, not before having some fun. You pay attention now. It'll be well worth your while to see Jupiter and... Oh, this is just my luck. Sent from the port in the middle of the night, in the dark, in the cold. My master's such a jerk. <laughs> no, Socia, this can't wait till morning. Go now. No, Socia, you can't have a arm escort. Just go. No, Socia, I don't care you're hungry. That's my sandwich. <laughs> That's the life of a slave for a rich man. Hey. I'm the one who should be complaining. He didn't just get demoted from God to groveling servant today. I <laughs> And if I don't watch out, the police will round me up like one of the usual suspects out this time of night. Or worse, I could run into a pack of unruly hooligans. But that's okay. <laughs> I'd like to see some hood rats stand up to me. I'll activate his dental plan. <laughs> oh! Oh, I knew there'd be hooligans out there. Look! Uh, I don't have any money. <laughs> If I did, I would have spent it on booze already! <laughs> well, he's a truthful one. <laughs> All I have is this message for my master's wife, Elkmena. But you can't have it. I have to fulfill my orders and recite it to her. Oh, Fifteen pages. <laughs> better practice the line so I don't mess up. You guys don't mind, do you? I do. Good grief. No amount of extra credit is worth sitting through that. <laughs> Well, here it goes. <clears throat> hear ye, hear ye, to the Ballad of Battle, this being an account of the noble adventures of Amphitrio. General and champion of Thebes, loyal servant to the king, lord of his household, master of all he surveys, commander-in-chief of the Theban forces at home, abroad, and so on, skip ahead. <laughs> Lord of the billowing cape, purveyor of fine cheeses, 
<laughs> Fender of his enormous manliness. <laughs> what a schmuck. Possessor of the penumbrous ego. Owner of a signed Brendan Mars collectible t shirts. <laughs> and the husband of the most stable, faithful wife. She's in the intro. We forgot to blow our smoke up the king. As for the harrowing events of the battle, I shall now make a full account. In the beginning, and Fisher was a robust youth, a harsh temper, and a penchant for pounding things with his sword. An ideal candidate for leadership. We can skip this, too. <laughs> At age 12, he wrestled with his bare hands a monstrous and imposing turtle. <laughs> Sounds way too much like these Age 15, he captivated his first barbarian. Yeah, who didn't? Age 26, salt met across a crowded room. Their eyes met. Ah, precious. Age 27, inadvertently killed his father in law. Well played. <laughs> Where's the battle already? Where is it? Oh, here we go. The scene was angry that day, like a TA grading a rough draft at midnight. <laughs> right? The minute we came ashore, and Fitcher at once picked out the leaders on his staff. And these he sent to the tell bones to make his position clear. Let's skip to the good part. Oh, here we go. In the struggle, each man gave his all. Swords clanged, lances broke, and the shouts of men rose as high as the sky. Not bad, not bad. Yet not one of the foe turned to flee from the field. They kept standing their ground, never breaking their lines. And in feature with Kate Bellowing, ordered the charge on the right flank. The enemies cast their shields and turned in flight. Oh, this part's really great. Thus ended the days of Terrorless, the enemy king, down by Infectrudo's uncomfortable right hand. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure that's exactly how it happened. The Fisher, with minty fresh breath, accepted their unconditional surrender, offering the following speech. To my newly conquered subjects, welcome to slavery. I'll be your guide. <laughs> <laughs> that's bringing back bad memories. <laughs> yeah, let's, I'll just skip that part. That's, that's no good. This too. So let's see. Uh, with the enemy defeated, the troops safe and sound, and the war concluded, and Fitcher returns home to his loving wife. That should be good enough. <laughs> well, now to deliver my message. Oh, that's my cue. I'm not letting him anywhere near the house today. <laughs> Holy gyrating Jupiter! Who's that at the door? <laughs> I'm just begging for a pack of hooligans to show up here. I'll introduce them to my friends, Manlius and Torquatus. Whoa, that guy sounds tough! <laughs> I'd like to see some hood rats stand up to me. I'll activate his dentist plan. That's it, I'm dead. Look at the size of that guy! <laughs> Does that <I> smell? <laughs> Wimpy! <laughs> Who knows? Hey, you! Sissy Pants Lake! Who, me? Do you see another sissy pants slate? <laughs> um, oh! Master. 
And Pichu! Alcman is his wife! <laughs> well then tell me, what's your name? Men call me Socia. Sprung from the loins of Dave I am. <laughs> what's your name? <laughs> oh! Then you're going to get a beating for telling lies. No! No! Please! I beg you! <laughs> Where do you get off saying you're Socia when I'm Socia? He's murdering me! <laughs> Murder isn't anything compared to what's coming. Whoa! Who's your master? You are. You're owning those fists of yours. <laughs> what did you come here for? So you could have someone to beat up. <laughs> Who's your master? And Pritchard, I'm his servant, Socia! That means you're going to get beaten up even more for talking nonsense. I'm Socia. <laughs> Not you! What's your name? Oh! <laughs> oh, whatever it makes you say. You told me you were Amphitro's associate. Uh, I meant to say I was Amphitro's associate. <laughs> I knew this family had only one associate. Me. Hey, do you think you could do me a favor? Do you think you stop beating up for a bit? And we can talk in peace? Fine, say what you want. I won't hurt you. Give me your word. Your word of honor. What if you go back on it? Then, may the wrath of Mercury fall on Socia. <laughs> well, now that I can say what I want, I'm telling you, I'm going to Socia. What again? Oh! No! Oh! Get away! Police! Police! Oh, we made a peace agreement! Not as long as you live. You're not gonna make me be someone different than who I am. I'm the only associate we got in the family. I'm the associate who went to the front. No, I'm that associate. Tonight, our ship left the land of the Telebones with me on board. We took King Talaris Town, beat the Telebone army, and a picture of kids killed King Talaris with his own hands during battle. Oh. Oh. Well, if you know so much, tell me this. What was that Fisher presented with out of the booty of the Telebones? The gold cup King Talaris used to drink out of. Where is it now? It's in a chest, locked and sealed with that Fisher seal. What's his seal? A picture of his own bicep. <laughs> Real or photoshopped? Please, it's photoshopped. <laughs> Sweet Jupiter, how could he know all that? Oh. I know something he'll never know. If you're me, what were we doing while the battle was going on fast and furious? Tell me that! You want me to tell all these people what you were doing in that tent? Yes. Well, there was a keg of wine, and you poured a nice, neat little glass and set it aside. And then what? And then you down the entire keg in six minutes flat. Mighty Mercury! That's exactly what I did! <laughs> no, that's exactly what I did. I don't know who you are, but you better get out of here. I swear by Jupiter, I am Socia. And I swear by Mercury that Jupiter doesn't believe a word you say. <laughs> well, if I'm not Socia, who am I? Tell me that. Well, when I'm done being Socia, you go right ahead and be Socia. But for now, I'm Socia. So either you beat it, or get a beating, Mr. Nobody. All right, all right. Golden gods of Olympus. Where did I lose myself? Did I forget myself back at the pier? If I did, this guy must have surely found me. He looks exactly <laughs> like me. <laughs> well, I just have to tell my master everything that happened. Wait a second. Maybe he won't recognize me either. That's it, Socia. You'll be a free man in no time. <laughs> well, that went well. I drove that moron away without disturbing father a bit. 
Now when he tells Sosia, when Sosia tells Amphitryo that this Sosia drove him away from the door, it'll drive them both and all their council crazy. Oh, uh, there's a sound at the door, so I'll shut up now. Here comes the fake Amphitryo, with Alphmena, the wife he has on the phone. <laughs> Listen, Alcmena, to the sound of my voice. You are getting sleepy, very sleepy. You believe that I am your husband, Amphitruo. He came home from the battlefield. He wants you to take good care of the twin children in your womb, especially the gentle. He was here, and he loves you very much, but now he must go. When I snap my fingers, you will wake up. <laughs> what are you doing? You can tell that woman anything you want, and you're going with, Your husband was here, he loves you very much. <laughs> Is that a problem? Well, supreme cosmic power, and that's the best you could come up with? <laughs> Look, the simpler the story, the better. Well, yeah, but the audience is going to fall asleep or stuff like that. <laughs> well, what would you tell her then? Something better than your husband came home. Like? Ah. The dust had finally settled on the battlefield. Thieves was, ca Thieves was captured by, was not captured, but rather Amphitryo captured the enemies and single-handedly slaughtered every last one of them. Then, on the way back to Thebes, they were captured by pirates, and he was chained to the mast. Pirates, really? <laughs> then, to get free, he turned himself into a bear. Oh, come on, that's not even the same myth. Dionysus did that. <laughs> this is a lot better than what you said. Look. No, you weren't ready to snap. Look, will you just let me do this? All right, knock yourself out. <clears throat> Alcamena, your husband returned from the battlefield where he acquitted himself manfully and slaughtered the enemy king in single combat. And? Wrestled a fire-breathing dragon with his bare hands. <laughs> this is Greek mythology. The dragons don't breathe fire. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with updating a little bit. Well, can you just let me tell the story? As long as it's worth telling. A dragon? My hero! <laughs> <laughs> what was wrong with that? That's not how the story goes. Who cares? It's better. We're not doing this. Trust me. Mercury? Oh. <laughs> Quit stepping her to sleep! You're gonna give her brain damage! <laughs> what does it say on my business card? I'll give you a hint. It says Jupiter! Greatest and best! Oh, and what does it say on your business card? That's right, just Mercury. <laughs> Mercury, god of clever plotlines. <laughs> I'm the one in charge. I don't need to be clever. Well, folks, you heard it here. <laughs> How do we get her up? What? Well, she's really big. <laughs> and whose fault is that? <laughs> Use your Jupiter powers or something. <laughs> <laughs> now, Alcmena, when you wake up, you will be very distraught to see me leave. But sadly, you have to let me go. I really want to make Sosia, uh, this Sosia, a sandwich. <laughs> and you will take good care of our unborn child. Turkey, ham, light on the mail, Ugh, but not light mail. And you'll count the seconds until we meet again. On sourdough. Are you finished? Ooh, and bacon. <laughs> oh, oh. What's come up, dear, to make you leave home so suddenly? Well, 
you know what they say. When the commander's away, the soldiers will come out to... Uh, cause trouble. <laughs> I think you're right. I think it should have been play. It should have been play. <laughs> well, I can certainly see how much you care for your wife. Isn't it enough that I love you, uh... uh Alpmena? Alpmena. <laughs> More than any other woman in the world. Yeah, he, no, he's actually been with every other woman in the world. How <laughs> <laughs> seriously, just about. Besides, if Juno up there ever finds out that he's busy with things like this down here, he'll wish he really were Aunt Petro and not Juno. Yeah. Just that you arrived just yesterday in the middle of the night, and now you're already leaving. How am I supposed to feel about this? I'll go over and have a word, see if I can win Best Supporting Actor. <laughs> I don't think there's a man in the world who's as crazy about his wife as he is about you. Not now, Mercury! Ha! Think I don't know what you're up to, you liar! Out of my sight, slave boy! Don't! <laughs> he canceled my debut faster than Fox canceled Firefly. No! <laughs> But you really shouldn't be angry with me, Alexandra. Alcmena. Alcmena. I stole this opportunity to come see you so I could be the first to tell you how I served my country. Would I do such a thing if I didn't love you very, very much? You love your poor life in tears going away like this! <coughs> not uh, happy to leave like this, um, but here is the cup, <clears throat> the cup, that was awarded to me for gallantry in action. King Tolaris used to own it. I killed him with my own hands. Now it's a present for you, my dear. <laughs> wow, a cup you stole off a dead guy? <laughs> How romantic. <laughs> Ah, uh, as wonderful as the getter, don't you mean? One more word out of you and pow! Up you'll go to the salt mines! Please don't be angry at Sosia, for my sake. Well, anything to please you. <laughs> Jeez, what love does to him? So touchy. Is there anything you want me to give you before I go? Yes. Love. Love me when I'm far away. Because I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, and Pitro, it's getting light on. Oh, well, uh, cheer up! I'll be back sooner than you think! Not me, he's Socia! Socia who? The Socia, the house! Who is he? If you're 
Your servant! You trying to make a fool out of me? I only have one servant named Socia. I'm trying to tell you there's two Socias. The Socia of the house and the one right here before you. So you went to the house and there was a second Socia there. I saw with my own eyes. You were asleep and confused in the dark. You saw this Socia in a dream. How could I be working while still asleep? That never stopped you before. Oh, Amphitryo. How can one person be in two places at the same time? I ordered you to go on ahead. You disobeyed, and now you think you can come here and tell me these ridiculous stories. I I'm not lying. I didn't believe it either until Socia convinced me. But then you told me everything that went down the war, everything I had done. We have the same name, the same face. Then he beat me. Look at the bruises. Ow. Well, somebody certainly manhandled you. I admit it. I suck at boxing. Who hit you? I hit me. The need the house. OK, let me get this straight. This second associate, who is he? I want you to explain this to me. He's your servant. I already have one more of you than I want. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, there's another associate besides me. But you know what? I'll let you bump into him. He's the son of Dave, the same Dave that's my dad. And he's, we're the same age, and he's super muscular like I am. Need I say more? You're the proud master of twin socias. <laughs> no, you are definitely drunk. <laughs> Could have been a magician. A magician. So let me get this straight. Back home, there's someone with some sort of magical powers. That's right. He can transform himself to assume the identity of another person entirely. Of course. And he could do this to anyone. Anyone at all. So with all that cosmic power, and with all the options in the world, he decided to be you. <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> you realize how ridiculous you sound? Oh, you'll figure it out soon enough once you run into your servant, Socia. <laughs> You saw me. I saw you. 
But who's the other guy you saw before? Sophia! No, before we got here. Before you got here, I saw you. You saw, yes, you see us now. Who did you see before? Before you got here, I saw you! <laughs> well, you saw me. Yeah, and you saw me too! Well, you saw me see you? That's right! <laughs> no, but who was the one who was here before? You were! Wait, so I came here, and then I came again later? Are you calling me a liar? <laughs> can't, you see Scott, she, can't you see she's got crazy eyes? No, you was talking crazy. I'll tell you what's going to happen right now. I'm going to give her a piece of my mind. Have you gotten an attack of stupidity or something? No, why did you get asking me a question like that? Because you used to greet me the way any loving, decent wife would, but now I come to find you completely changed. But I did greet you the moment you walked through the door, yesterday. In picture, I had hoped she'd bear you a son. But she's not pregnant with children. What? She's pregnant with crazy! I am not crazy! <laughs> then why do you say that you saw me yesterday when I only arrived just last night in port? I haven't set foot in that house since the day I left. Oh, really? Because you had dinner with me last night. And you slept with me. What did you say? And then at the crack of dawn, you left for the front. What is she talking about? She's telling you just as how she remembers it. It's a dream, she's telling you. Well, after you have woken up, you should have offered special prayers to Jupiter. He's our patron god of miracles, you know. <laughs> oh, go shove it! No, you go! Oh, and take care of those prayers. You're good. <laughs> that is the second time he's insulted me. Are you really going to let him talk to me that way? Shut up. <laughs> Wait, so you say that I left at the crack of dawn? Yes, if, if it wasn't you two, then who told me the story of how the battle went? You know about that? Yeah, you told me all about it yourself. How you stormed a great city and off King Terrorless all by yourself. I told you that. Yes, and Sosia was right there with you. Sosia, look at me. I'm looking. Did you hear me tell her these things that she says? Please, are you crazy too? This is the first time I saw her, just like you. Well, did you hear? I certainly did. Telling lies! So you don't trust him or your husband? Only because I trust myself most of all. And I know that everything has happened exactly as I told it to you. But you say I arrived here yesterday. You denied me because you there? Of course I do. Oh, really? And do you also deny giving me the golden cup? The one you won as an award for valor in battle? I did not tell you about any cup, nor did I give you a cup. How did you hear about that anyway? You told me about it with your own lips. Gave it to me with your own hands. Sosia, how could she know about the cup unless you came here first and told her about it? Uh, I never said a word to her. Like I said, this is the first time I've seen of her. Would you like to see said cup? Yes, I would. Fine! Sosia, get her. She produces a cup that will be the miracle to end all miracles. You mean you believe her? But it's right here in this chest. It's locked and sealed with your own seal. Is the seal intact? Take a look. Perfect, just the way I sealed it. Enough talk. Here's your cup. Let's have a look at it. Take a good long look. And since you insist on denying cold hard facts, I'll make it easy for you. Is this the cup that was awarded to you for valor and battle? Holy Jupiter, this is the cup. So see what's going on? Either this is the greatest wish that's ever lived, or the cup must still be in this chest. Then hurry and open up that chest. Why bother? The seal's still intact. You've come up with another Inficio, I've come up with another associate, and that cup has come up with another cup. We've all become twins. <laughs> now we just need another wife for that other Inficio. <laughs> I said, open that chest. Where would I have got it except for from you? It was your gift to me. Sweet fancy Jupiter! What's the matter? It's not here. What did you say? Uh, the truth. Okay, where'd you get it? From the man who's asking the question. 
So you say that I arrived yesterday? <laughs> yeah, you arrived. I greeted you. You greeted me. I gave you a kiss. I don't like the way this starts. This kiss business. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Well, then you took a bath. And after my bath. You were hungry, so I set the table, and then ate dinner right alongside you. On the same couch? On the same couch. I don't like the sound of this dinner party. <laughs> well, Let I just finish. go on, and then after dinner you were sleepy, so we went to bed. And why did you sleep? Where do you think I slept? I can't believe this! What's the matter? Don't you talk to me. My wife besmirched while I was away! What's the matter? How could you say anything like that about me? You know that you're my man! You're a man, really? Don't you call me by that false name! <laughs> this is a sticky situation if he doesn't want her to call him a man <laughs> You were with me? If you didn't have any shame, you could at least pretend that you did. Nor I Didn't I have dinner in the ship last night? I too have witnesses to back up what I say. You know, I don't really know what to say about this whole business, except that, you know, maybe there's another adventure who takes care of things while you're away. You know, <laughs> does whatever needs doing. <laughs> You're a woman, you're quick to swear. A woman can be quick to swear if she's done nothing wrong. She can speak up for herself with confidence and without fear. My dowry is not what most consider a dowry to be. No, my dowry is decency and honor, respect for my parents and for the heavens, and to carry out your wishes. I'm so mixed up, I don't even know my own name. You're in picture, all right. <laughs> be careful. The way people have been changing ever since we got back, I might use the right title before we know it. <laughs> Alcumena, I need to look into this man. I can't just drop it! Fine, look into it. You'll find I'm innocent. Now what do you say to this? Your cousin Alcratis was on the ship with me. What if I bring him here and he says things didn't happen as you said? Can you think of any reason why I shouldn't divorce you? None at all. If I've done something wrong. Get inside. I'm gonna go get an Alcratis. Hey, uh, up now. So, uh, it's just us two now. So be honest with me. Is there another associate around here? Okay! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll give you once. I'll go. It's such a strange way for my husband to be acting. Accusing me of misconduct like this for his own pleasure? Well, we'll find out what Cousin McCratchus has to say. Thieves in the morning. <laughs> I'm the Amphitro with the servant Socia, who sometimes becomes Mercury when he feels like it. Yay. The same Amphitro who has an office up on the third floor of JFSB. And when he feels like it, turns into Jupiter. This time, I'm here for your sakes. I didn't want to leave this comedy only half done, and at the same time, I wanted to come to Alcmena's rescue, since her husband, that Amphitruo, is accusing her of adultery, though she's done nothing wrong. Now, I'm going to pass myself off as Amphitruo again, as I did before, and drive the whole household crazy. <laughs> uh oh, here she comes. I simply won't stand for it. To have my cousin, have my husband accuse me of adultery this way. It's shameful. I won't stand. 
stand for it. Uh-oh, sounds like the tongue lashing she got from him is about to fall on my neck, and I'm the innocent victim here. <laughs> There's the man who made his wife miserable by accusing her of shame and dishonor. <laughs> my dear wife, I want to talk to you. Hey, why do you turn your back on me? It's my nature. I can't stand the sight of an enemy. An enemy? Don't you dare. After all, if you had any sense in that brain of yours, you wouldn't want to talk to a woman who you deem immoral. I've come here to apologize. Now, I'm sure you'll ask, why did you say such things? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. It was not that I thought you were immoral. I was just testing your feelings for me. All those things I said a while back, they weren't serious. It was all just a joke. Just ask Socia. A joke that cut me to the very heart. Oh, Alcmena, please, I beg you, don't be angry with me. Since I've had nothing to do with immorality in deed, I want nothing to do with it in word. Keep your part of the property and arrange to return mine. Yes, we're getting a divorce. Send some servant to escort me. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, what if I swear an oath? Any oath you want that I believe you are a faithful wife. And if I should swear falsely, then... Then almighty Jupiter! <laughs> I call on you to bring heaven's wrath down on Amphitruo for all of time. <laughs> To my eyes up, Nana. You are getting sleepy. Yes, very sleepy. You are forgetting all of your anger against your husband, Amphitruo. When I snap my fingers, you will wake up, and you will be happy with him again. You might even feel like dancing. <laughs> now, are you still angry with me? Why no, dear husband? the thought. That's good. You know, in life, things like this happen. We have our joys and then our sorrows. We have our fights, and then we make up again. You should have been careful to not say such things in the first place. But since you've apologized, I'll just have to put up with it. <laughs> well, good. You know, something about all this just makes me feel like dancing. You? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you uh, call Socia out here? I want him to go fetch uh, the captain of my ship, Blefero, from the harbor so that he can have lunch with me today. Blefero's not only not going to get any lunch, he's going to be one surprised man when I haul Amphitro out here by the neck. <laughs> I wonder what he's doing talking to himself like that. Here I am, Fitcho. Anything to be done? Just say the word and I'll do it. Ah, so sad. You've come just in time. I want to have you two made up. Oh, well, I'm delighted. <laughs> that just makes me so relaxed. The system of good servants to follow is this. What your owners do, you do. You take your expression from them. If they're sad, you be sad. If they're happy, you be happy. So tell me, Fitcho, you're not mad anymore, are you? <clears throat> of course not. Don't you remember? Everything we said a while back was just in fun. Just in fun? But I thought you were dead serious. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said we were going to do it all as a joke. Mm -hmm. Remember? No. <laughs> <laughs> and she was crying. And then you were all saying, telling that one joke, how she's one crazy messed up. Socia. And then she was all like, we're getting a divorce. And then you're like, fine by me. <laughs> And then there was that one time where you were like, don't call me a man. Laura, <laughs> 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 uh, did you want to get Captain Buffer right now? Yes, Socia. Right, I'll do that then. <clears throat> oh, and Socia, hurry back. I've got something for you. Okay. <laughs> and uh, I'll, I'll do that then. 
And I, uh, I promise not to go to the forum and uh, wait till you calm down. Because that's not the kind of thing a slave like me would do. <laughs> <laughs> well, why don't you uh, run along inside and get lunch ready as soon as you can? I'll go inside and get everything ready. Come in whenever you'd like. <laughs> How's Mena? <coughs> oh, of course. Well, oh, that's just the way an attentive wife should behave. <laughs> well, uh, all right, throw the vegetables. Okay. But despite what you think, I did fool them both, mistress and slave. <laughs> they think I'm Amphitruo. Are they ever wrong? Hey, you, the immortal Socia, come down here and put in an appearance. When Amphitruo gets back. I want you to keep him away from the house. Use whatever trick you can think of. I want you to play around with him until I'm done having my lunch with that wife of his I'm borrowing. <laughs> <laughs> Servant Socia, sozzled and sloshed out of a stinky servant skull. And when Amphitryo sees me pretending, it's the real Socia who will end up smashed. <laughs> oh, here he comes now. That's my cue. I'm off to the roof to have some fun. Father never played catch with me. <laughs> 
year. What's all the ruckus, Socia? <laughs> <laughs> this guy hit around here acting like he owned the place, so I welcomed him home. <laughs> You are. Ah, he's eloquent too. Look, why don't you move along before I give you the trouble you're looking for today? But I am the master of this house! An imposter, eh? I'm no imposter! You're a two bit con man, is what you are, a lousy grifter. <laughs> <laughs> Come down here, Sosie, and bring a cudgel. We'll give the returning hero the homecoming he deserves. <laughs> Hey. Put a hand on me. I'm a freeboard citizen. Yeah, from Canada, maybe. <laughs> Ahoy, mateys! Sosia told me to meet the master here for lunch. But where he be? Hmm. Oh! There you are, Victoro. I wasn't to recognize you. This here be me, good eye. <laughs> but bro, but oh, oh. Come be my witness. I'm being horribly mistreated. Ah, Bluffro, you got here just in time. We've caught ourselves a criminal. Want to help us corrupt him up? Salty Neptune stockings. <laughs> there be two of you. <laughs> don't you recognize me? It's me, and Victoro. No, no, don't, don't listen, listen to him. He's lying. lying. Hey, stop that. I'll punch your teeth out. <laughs> Tell him who I am, bro. Well, uh, let me, let me see here. Um, <laughs> as if he doesn't know an imposter and a seducer when he sees one. You're the one who was here before I got here. Oh. <laughs> well, this lad is certainly Socia. Very strong. <laughs> But which in for you is which? Hmm. Ah, I'll let you guys foot for it. I'd be way too sober to be seeing two of ye. I'm going to sit over here and see if I can figure this out. In What's going on out here? Alpena, oh, we just caught a, a catbird with us. Alpena! Oh, ah! 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 It's me, Alpena! Your husband, Amphitro! No, don't, don't look, look at him. him. You, you look at me. <laughs> Socia, restrain him. Great. Now I'm going to labor. Time to pray to Juno. Uh, uh no. <laughs> Did you know? Why don't you pray to Hecate instead? The goddess of witchcraft and puppy sacrifice? <laughs> you! No! Goddess Juno Akina, hear me in my hour of need! Come to my aid! Uh, no! Shh! Yes, Juno! Juno, help! Come, Juno! Quiet, you! How oh, the heck? Come on down, Juno! <laughs> Way out of hand. Uh, look into my eyes, Amphitruo. You are getting sleep. And you too, Alcmena. That's right. You're both falling into a deep sleep. Amphitruo, you just keep doing that. And Alcmena, you will forget all about that other Amphitruo. And remember that you only have eyes for me, or uh, your husband. Uh, I mean, this Amphitruo. The one who reminds you a lot of Jupiter. <laughs> what a schmuck. I don't think that guy is Amphitruo. <laughs> Did you know? Did you know? 
Jupiter. How did imagine my surprise? Well, uh, how, how did how did you get here? Someone pray for Juno Lakina, the goddess of childbirth. You wouldn't have anything to do with that, now, would you? No. I, how dare you? <laughs> my mistake. What was I thinking? Accusing a love machine like you? <laughs> So uh, you uh, you heard that? Didn't you? <laughs> I don't think I don't recognize you, Mercury. I'll deal with you later. Uh, you two seem really busy now. I'm stay. just gonna stay. Or I'll stay. <laughs> you horror! No way that scallywag is ambitious, and I don't think that's Sosa either. He's too short. <laughs> Jupiter. Ah, yes. So, who is she? Uh, you want to know who she is? Yes! Uh, well, this woman, she, um, <coughs> she... What's the matter? Got your tongue? <laughs> no. Uh, this woman, she, oh, she prayed to me for protection. Oh, protection, huh? That's right. Protection. Well, sure doesn't look like you used any. <laughs> I'm here to help. Thanks. Oh. Oh. 
Where are you two going? We are going to go deliver this baby. Oh, but stick around. You and I have got a lot more to talk about. Come on, us girls got to stick together in this world. Sweet candied Venus! <laughs> I really stepped in at this time. Now what am I going to do? First Amphitro had two deadbeat slaves, and then Alphmeta had two deadbeat husbands. Now I'm the one with two more of something than I want. My wife and girlfriend both want me dead. Good thing I'm Jupiter and know how to fix things. Yeah. I don't care what Mercury says, I can be clever too. Yeah. <laughs> how can I fix this? Come on, Hollywood, what would you do here? <laughs> I know. Snakes! Snakes always solve problems! I'm gonna get some snakes! <laughs> um, mortal freeze. Play dead. Good mortal. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
Thebans. I have a brief statement I would like to read. I am Jupiter, greatest and best. Ow! There has been confusion in the city of Thebes, and the blame rests squarely with me. Uh, <clears throat> to begin with, I impersonated the general Amphitruo. I <clears throat> borrowed Alcmena's body. <laughs> I slept with her <clears throat> and conceived a son by her, who uh, coincidentally has since proved himself to be the mighty Hercules. <laughs> Amphitruo also conceived a son when he left to go to the front. She is brought forth both together in one birth. <clears throat> Mistakes were made. <laughs> I made mistakes. I deeply regret my actions. <laughs> I will seek professional counseling. <laughs> <laughs> Alcmena deserves no reproaches. I forced her to do what she did, and now I must return to the heavens. Thank you. <laughs> I guess I won't go bothering Tiresias. Let's hear it for Jupiter, the greatest and best. <laughs> about the show and about our choices. Um, if you would uh, really rather be eating a hamburger, you're free to leave at this point. Thank you.